Hey y'all, it's me, Hit to Be Square. So I'm delighted to be here with you guys today. Yay! Okay, so it is not bank day. That is tomorrow. I do still need to upload the other two videos from last week. Or no, first May stuffing and the end of April closeout and stuffing. So I am kind of behind. It's been a lot. The school year is almost over and I'm just like ready for it to be over because it has just been a whirlwind of everything. Took uh, my puppy to the doctor today um, for his chemo checkup. And that's why I'm kind of on right now because I'm just needing to just get my mind off things and just come on and just talk and everything else. Um, it's grown a little bit in size, so I'm just kind of mm, not in the mood. Really just kind of, that took a lot out of me today. But um, we're gonna hopefully work through it and get to a point where it's manageable and not as crazy as it's been. But I am here to talk budget. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, my mind has been racing since last time I went to the grocery store. Well, no, it actually it hasn't. It's been racing for the last five minutes since I've been thinking about bank day and budget and grocery and everything else. So when I went to the grocery store last week, I wanna say, I I give myself, and I think I've shown y'all the little budget paper I make, $60 budget for grocery, and that's a lot, but it goes for two weeks. Like literally it's supposed to be 30 each week. And I get it, that is hard. And I know, I know, my mind is racing. I've got ideas, I'm gonna share them with you if you're struggling like me and it matters to you, but it doesn't matter to you type thing. And so let me tell you why it matters, but doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter part. So my biggest thing is I don't do a total budget. I don't do like um, all in budget. Like people take everything out of their account and they stuff it into envelopes and they go, nothing's on my card. Now I can't use my card, do, 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 do. I'm scared for that. Like if something happens for forbid, something happens to that wallet, and all my money from cash envelopes and stuff is in that wallet from like my whole check, I'm screwed. I just, ha I just have to have that safety net. Have to, I have to have a safety net, I'm sorry. And that works for some, and some people say, well, that's not true, Dave Ramsey. <laughs> if it, whatever works for you, just like I say every time I come on here, is whatever works for you. Now here's where the doesn't matter part happens for me. So I'll go to the grocery store, and I'm just putting stuff in my cart. You know, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And it's not that I really, it's that I want it. It's that, okay, I'm gonna eat it, so I, you know, want it. And so I'm putting it in the cart. And I'm just, you know, in my head, I'm kind of like trying to stay on track. Like, mm, that's a dollar, that's da 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 da, that's da 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 da. So it's falling around 20, 25. And I got up to the register, it was like 40 something, almost 50. I said, oh my goodness, how did I have those coupons in store? Because I planned my meal. And for some whatever reason that day, I, that week I planned my meal that I was gonna do, <laughs> literally, all the stuff I needed was pretty much coupon, coupon, coupon. I'm like, what? Cause I made an enchilada bake type thing. And I was like, wow, coupons for tortillas, coupons for this, coupons for that. And it was, if you bought chicken, shredded chicken, you got the tortillas free. I bought a second pack of tortillas. They were $1.88, which is kind of expensive, but they're like the corn tortillas. They're flour consistency, but they're made from corn. So they're soft corn tortillas and they taste really good. And they, it's a half, well actually no, it's a half and half mixture. Half corn, half flour. And so I really like those because it does, to me, taste more of corn than flour, and I can still digest them easy. That's another thing, oh my gosh, okay. So I don't think I mentioned this, I may have, maybe I haven't. I was gastric bypass almost three years ago, 2018. And so, literally struggling. <laughs> and it's not that I'm struggling because of just a stall. It's because I've gained back my old darn habits. And I'm trying to break away from that. And I'm really trying. So I'm thinking with this new Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, I love Dave Ramsey. I know every time I say his name, I feel like I have to do a little dance. I, every time I think about Bank Day, I say his name and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, back to it. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so my newest obsession, and hear me out, is half and half tea. I love half sweet, half unsweet tea. I don't make it at home. I would never try to make, no, I just, I don't get the ratio right. 
I go to KFC, they do the best half and half teas. Popeyes is great too. I only, well, I normally go to those restaurants anyway because my puppy son is obsessed with chicken. And I know some of y'all are gonna say, well, isn't he going through fried chicken? It's probably not good. Uh, he eats, we need him to eat. I'm not getting into it, it's a thing. And maybe I'll break that down in a whole nother video, but I'm not getting into it. Anyway, I go for him. And it's, the willpower is to go for him and him alone. And not go to get for me. And so I have to work on that. I'm gonna work on that. Um, I think my biggest realization, I'm gonna just be frank and honest, is I like those quesalupas from <laughs> Taco Bell. I had four of them. I'm sorry, did you, did you hurt me, right? <laughs> I mean, not all at once, but it was like over the course of hours. I had one and maybe like another one and then I had two later on that night. But it's still the simple fact that I thought my butt was gonna take four of that. I said, oh no, no. So I've kind of now, I realized this isn't, this isn't working for me. So I, last year, year before last, I think, or maybe it was last, no, year before last. I know in 2020, I wasn't doing none of this crap. In 2019, I did attempt to meal prep. I know, I know, all these services are out there now, you can get the food, but a lot of them have stuff that I know I'm not gonna eat, so I don't even try to do that. Unless they let you pick to the T what you want, most of the time it's you pick weeks. Oh, I want week one and week seven, or whatever. I want this week's, most of the time it's by weeks. They'll show you, okay, this is what we have for this week's, if you put it in the week before, we'll send you this week's. And it's like, you gotta look at what this week's is to see if you want it or not. And a lot of times there's stuff I don't want. A lot of times it's good stuff, but sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, no. But then, even if you think you're getting a good deal with that, there's still stuff in there that sodium and other things that are gonna make it not as healthy as you think. So this week I'm thinking of doing a set, well like, I don't know if I'm gonna do soy sauce or if I'm gonna do the sesame chicken sauce. Cause sesame chicken sauce only has like three grams of sugars. And I think the carbs are really low, but I have sesame seeds and I'm gonna do um, broccoli with grilled chicken and like mix it all together and have like a, have like a stir fry and maybe add some peppers too. Mm, that sounds really good, now I say that. That sounds so good. Okay, should I have that tonight? But I think I'm gonna try, I'm really gonna try. And I think I'm gonna get back into doing the fry. And that's gonna be a budget kind of, you know, challenge. Because if you're prepping, now here's the thing. I may have a creature. Now I've made casserole and dish, casseroles for casseroles, a casserole a week, you know, that type of thing. And so I have gotten really good at making a casserole and sticking with said casserole. I've gotten super good at that. They're carby, they're cheesy, they're delicious. Oh my gosh, yes. And as much as that's great for like sticking to eating, you know, no one have to think at home already cooked. It's not the healthiest thing to have. So I think I am going to start back meal prepping. Thus meaning creating a grocery list, creating, you know, and I was thinking I could do like different things each day. Like, oh, maybe Monday I'll have, um, Monday I'll have, a stir fry type thing. Tuesday I'll have this, Wednesday I'll have this, Thursday I'll have this. Cause technically my goal is to get through four days out of the week, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday going back to something, you know, normal. And so trying to keep myself in check for four days is gonna be the challenge. And so that's gonna be a little challenge for me. It's gonna be a little bit of a like, yay, you can do this. If I can go, I mean, and I will say this, I have to have tea every now and again. It's not the problem, that's liquid. So that's not really the issue. And I can, you know, and I'm not trying to justify anything. I'm not, I know you're thinking, you're justifying, just be honest, be real, be true. I get it, but like, that's not the problem. It's that I have to have something to go with the tea, and I get this, and I get that, and I get this, and it's just like, oh, it's a thing. And so literally I've been saving money. Like I've been saving money. Like I told y'all, I think when I do bank day, you know, cash stuffing videos, I have a running savings budget right now that y'all don't know about that I'm gonna show y'all in May. That I'll, well, actually, I'll show y'all at the end of May. We're gonna calculate how much we've saved over the last three months. And I think I have a total, oh, I didn't write it down for April. But no, 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 I'm just gonna calculate it all together. We won't try to break, well, I think I remember March's and then 
April's, and I'll figure it out. I know March is for a fact. And then April's, I'll, I'll calculate. And then obviously, May. So if I, if I remember May's, and I know March is for a fact, subtract so those and I'll get April's. So that's what I'll do. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have, I have a savings thing going on. And so normally when I cash flow budget, cash flow stuff, the rest of the money that I don't use will stay in my account. I'll, you know, I'll spend here and there, go, you know, there's something that I don't allocate for in an envelope. And I'll say, oh, I'm going to the mall. I'll buy, you know, buy a shirt. I'll buy this or I'll buy that. And I still have at least 80 to 100 left at the next check-in, if you will. I was going to get those half teas and other fast foody things. And it was, I was saying it was related to stress. I was like, oh, stress, this and that, oh, stress. I want these today or sometimes at work, I won't take a lunch just because like the kids are coming in the line and I'm like, you know what? It's just too stressful. And then you've got, you know, other factors I won't get into that just kind of make it not really want, worth trying to take a lunch. And so I'm just like, okay. Then I'll leave and I'll say, oh, I'm kind of hungry. I guess I'll go get some cheesesteaks or I'll go do that, I'll go get this. And that's fine every now and again, but it's gotten to the point where that's kind of becoming a problem. So I was down to, well, it's probably a little less now, $6, I think is probably the, the total that I have left now. I literally thought that was gonna be for a whole nother week. And then I just, and then my coworker reminded me yesterday, she said, oh, did we get paid this week. I'm like, oh no, that's next week. And then I realized, oh yeah, we do. And so I'm also in a dilemma because my 10 year reunion is coming up July 31st. It's one thing if I was like cool with everybody and we were all cool and we all hung out and we did, you know, I, I, I got through high school. That's basically what I, you know, I mean, yeah, I had some friends, but they're not going. I mean, my one friend, obviously I don't think she's going to go. That would be kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if she knows what's going on, but I got through high school. That's basically what I'm just going to say. So do I really want to go to high school? I kind of do since I didn't really go to prom or homecoming, whatever, whatever. But I don't want to like have to do this fake smile thing with everybody for three hours. When literally you're going to go there and it's going to be, oh, that's it. It's all. I mean, I just really don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. So, I mean, yeah, I put down that, that I'll go, but I haven't put the money in. It's $40. And that's, and that's another like $40. For this reunion, the people, I mean, oh, no. To sit up and smile at everybody, I mean, look, I'm just gonna say it. My class, graduating class, I'm mostly white people. Nothing against it, I'm just saying. And I wasn't cool with half of it, okay? Let's just put it there. And I'm just I'm being honest and real. And so do I wanna go? Mm, there's a tug at me that wants to go, and the tug at me that doesn't. I have to put the submission in, or the money in by the 15th, and it's literally the 13th tomorrow. So I would have until Friday. And I'm not trying to like think about it because I'm not trying to go, but I also want to go, but I also don't want to put the money in. And then I go home to visit family and I don't want to leave on 31st to go to the reunion or we don't leave. And then what? It's like, oh, well, you know, you wasted 40 bucks because it's non-refundable. Once you put it in, they said you can't get it back. So I'm like, no, see, I need to assurance that if I don't show up, my $40 gets returned to me and it's probably not going to get returned to me. So... I'm not giving somebody just a random forty dollars. Just I mean, that's good. If, I, if I'm gonna go blow forty dollars, I'm gonna go walk my butt into Walmart and just <laughs> balls to the wall. Okay, shop till I drop. All right. <laughs> but so I was just really thinking about that, and that's just like, and it's not even about the expenses. It's not even about like, oh, you're thinking budget wise. You're thinking this. No, it's just I don't want to go. There's no ulterior thought process to that. So then. Um, I was talking about making a list of like the grocery items and stuff. Obviously, when I'm in the store, like I said, I, you know, a dollar for this, and now that's two dollars. And I try to guesstimate, and I don't guesstimate well. So I'm thinking either having my calculator on my phone out, and you know, okay, this is, you know, I don't have to get the tax right. I just have to get a ballpark budget of how much it's gonna be. So like as much as I'm like, oh, thirty dollars or something, you know, I don't have to get like, oh, it's gonna be thirty five twenty two, you know, with the tax added in. That's the total. No, I just have to get like, okay, it's thirty something. It's around thirty something with everything I have in the car, and that's all I need to know. That way I can know, okay, you're going close to it. You need to, you know, slow down. So here's my thing. Here's my thought process. Here's my thinking. I want to take 70 out. And I know I said 60, I'm adding an extra 10. If I'm going to start meal prepping, I'm going to start doing things like that. I have to have 
the, the flexible leeway to do those things because it's never always going to be a coupon day it's never going to always be all the things i need are right there you know it's gonna it's gonna be different each time so here is the thing so when i do this i'm thinking of taking the 35 the other 35 i have a space behind my ropb and it's empty i'm thinking of putting the other 35 behind it so i don't see it out of sight out of mind i'll put it back in when i'm done for that grocery trip but i won't touch it that grocery trip so i'm only gonna have 35 and i'm gonna steal my steal myself to say this 35 you have need to be close to or exact to 35. now if i spend under that's great that's fine i have a little you know more money to work with throughout the week you know if i need something that you know or if I, you know, something pops up, oh, we're having a little party. Oh, I got, you know, enough dollars to get a box of cookies. Oh yeah, you know, I'll bring that to work or something like that. But I don't want to sit there and say, okay, I have 70, spend as much as you want. And that's what, you know, I was watching this lady and she was saying like, she's very conscious when she goes to the grocery store because she's like, oh, I'll get, you know, if I get this and it's 40 something, I'll say, oh no, just cause I have my car, just cause I have extra money laying around. A lot, you know, maybe I don't need two or something. Maybe I just get the one and not the two. And maybe I get this and not that. And so i that's where it comes into it matters, but does it matter? Like, it don't matter to me because I have buyer's guilt. Mm, just a minute, I have buyer's guilt. So I go to the grocery store. Like, I literally bought what I needed to get, what I wanted to get, got in, my, got in the car, and started checking my receipt going, what could I put back to not have spent almost $50 in the grocery store? And I hated it. I hated myself for like at least an hour after I left the grocery store. I was literally like just down on myself. Like really, I need to not do that. Because if I'm budgeting and I'm confident in my budget, I should be confident enough to go in the grocery store buy what I need to get or want and not have to worry about, oh, I spent this much. Oh, I spent that much. I really don't want to have to do that. It's really like makes me, and it unmotivates me when I, when I get into that buyer skill, self-doubt. I think I told all the story when I bought my new iPad. It was 2020, in 2020, I remember, because we had gotten the first, was it the first stimulus or the second stimulus? It was the first one. And, no, yeah, it, had to be, it was the first one, it was the first one. And so I literally bought it, and I didn't open it for three days. And it wasn't that I didn't open it for three days because I didn't want to. I was doing other things preventing me from opening it, but that's a whole other thing. We'll talk about that later if I decide to talk about it. But um, I just was not opening it. I opened it like three days later. And it wasn't like I was gonna take it back. It was just like, ugh. You know, I was, did I really need that? Did I, I mean, I had the iPad mini. It wasn't updating anymore. None of the apps I had were working. And so I was like, it's, it's time for an upgrade. It really was. But at the same token, it's kind of like, did I need it? And I did, it, you know, mine was outdated. It was not, uh, you know, when, Technology no longer upgrades and no longer updates and it's not, you know, because I use it for games and just watching YouTube like that and the apps were no longer working on it. I needed to upgrade it anyway because I couldn't do it. It wasn't going to function for what I needed it for. And I had literally bought an app that worked five seconds on it. And then when I updated it, it's no longer started working. It was like, oh, it doesn't support the iPad that you have. And I'm like, huh? And so they're like, well, update, upgrade your iPad, upgrade it. I'm like, oh, okay. And so finally I did it just so, cause I already put money into that app. And I was like, okay, I need to upgrade the iPad anyway to, for, to get my use of the app. Anyway, so I had buyer's guilt. And so after the grocery store trip, I had buyer's guilt. And I'm like, oh, you know, and I don't, and it was like maybe one or two things I said I could put back, like the extra tortillas and snacks. Well, my son has, I told, I think I mentioned he has an expense account. I'm saying that's what ROPB is, his expense account. And now that we're on the topic of the expense account, I use Cube Money. I think I've mentioned that once or twice in videos. I'm kind of, oof, I like them. I really do. They're great. It's just the process of sending the money to them is a little bit sketch to me because I will say, okay, I want to transfer. Like I did when I got the new stimulus with the $1,400, I transferred $600. Now, I was conscious enough at the time to not be balls to the wall, swipe card, swipe card. You know, I was conscious enough. When you transfer money to Cube Money from your bank account, it takes three to five days. So literally, 
three to five days. I had to wait for the money to transfer. And that's great if you have $10,000 in your account and you're only transferring a thousand, you're not gonna be, you know, nervous to spend anything. I was not nervous to spend anything, but I was still kind of like cautious treading water. Because my biggest question is if you allocate 600 to go transfer to cute money and you spend everything including that 600, nothing's gonna be able to be transferred over. So do they already take, the, so here's what the question is. Is the money taken from your account and it's not showing that it's taken and it's just showing you your bank account, it's just showing you your full balance, but they've already taken it? Or is it, are they not really taking it until five days of it clearing? I guess they're trying to see, I guess what their thing is, that, okay, we're gonna wait five days to make sure you actually still have this money in your account versus you, we, us just taking it right then. But then again, you should just take it right then. If I'm allocating it to you now, today, take it by the next day. So that way I already know what's gone. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not trying to, you know, tread on, you know, eggshells, trying to see, because like, that's why I'm thinking I need a second card. Like, okay, a third card, if you will. So here's the question. I literally go from my card to cube. And I was thinking the cash that I do save up, like I do all PPA when I all my savings and stuff, that money, like I told you, I had like the 146, whatever from March, I think it was. And I'm gonna, you know, put it back. I was gonna put it back on the card and I was gonna send it over to cube. My card, I use first, totally everything else, a lot of stuff, iTunes, but I, when I go on iTunes, I make sure I'm, you know, on my other account, the last account. I make sure that it's not 30, 40, 50 dollars, you know, spending. I try to spend just a little bit here and there and then they take it, you know, within a day or two. That's not as bad. You know, the other accounts are not linked to that card so they can't take from it. And so the thing is, I put all that money back on the account. I don't want like other bills to show up. Like, well, I haven't done my CVS and that's only five dollars. But anyway, like I don't want other stuff to start popping up. Like, oh, we, we were, we took some money for this or that and paid for this and that using this money you just put on and it's like you don't have enough to go transfer over. So I'm thinking, do I get like another prepaid and then make sure there's no like usage fee, obviously, because Green Dot has a usage fee. I think they took $7 for the first swipe, which is so dang stupid. But um, and then I could use that card and just keep that card with the money on it. Keep it, you know, secure and then just put the money from that I save up our PB on there, hold it, put it through cube and say, okay, transfer direct to cube. And that's the card that holds all the savings money. And then I'll get allocated from there. That way my card doesn't have to be the holder of that money. And I'll have to risk overspending on my card to do, 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 do. Because three to five days is hard. So let's say I did that. And let's say Thursday, I put all the money back and I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, it would have to be, I guess, a day where I'm not yeah, I guess so. I guess I'd have to do it on like a weekend when I'm not doing much. Like during the week, I'm so busy. I'm traveling, not traveling. I'm going here and there. I'm driving everywhere and stuff like that. So that would kind of be bad. Like during the week, I do try to go you know, to stores and like just kill some time back home. You know, anyway, so I think it would be kind of beneficial to do it on like a Thursday, Friday. So that way it has time to go over into the account. I don't have to worry about it um, being spent. It's It'll go over quickly and then I don't have to worry about it versus it me doing it on like a Monday and then it, oh, by the way, it's gone because whole, all we got in here and out of stores and then it's like, oh, you don't have money left to do anything with it. So, I mean, I guess I'd rather do it at the end of the week, like on main day. That way I can make sure that it transfers and I'd have time. Even if it didn't transfer on Sunday and it was Monday or something, that would be fine. At least I know it would be there and ready to go. And so um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. And so I am just, you know, that's where I'm at. I'm kind of just at this point where I don't know if, how that would work out. So just making a list, making a grocery list, trying to calculate it up. And I have the app. My grocery store has an app. And even if I use Walmart, Walmart has an app too, but my grocery store, HB has an app. 
And so they have all the like stuff in the grocery store, I think mostly listed in the app. So I'm thinking of going through the app, picking out what I know I'm gonna get from the store and calculating it myself at the house. I don't want to go to the store. I'm not trying to calculate it in the store. I've already got it, you know, calculated. And then if I do need to change a few things or switch a few things out, you know, I can say, okay, oh, I do have my total budget, my sheet here, and my total budget. I have not done the total budget. That was May. Oh, it is May. This is actually what I was supposed to be doing in May. But I have not done that yet. Um, total budget was just like saving up for different things that I wanted. And that was the total budget that I was gonna have to like budget for. And so I haven't done that yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So when you watch this, I'll make sure to put in the descriptor to watch this before you watch May's second stuffing. Actually, this is May's first stuffing if you think about it because we literally got paid on the 30th of April, which is the end of April, which is April's closeout, and then we end up getting paid. This is May's first stuffing, technically, really, to be honest. So even though we're like in the middle of May, and not the beginning of May, it, it, yeah, I think I messed up in April when I did it. But anyway, that's just where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, reconstruct the budget and just, um, write a few things out. I just wanted to come on and talk with you guys. I am going to start trying to get back into working out. Just, you know, just simple sh mm, simple things I need to start doing. Um, I have a treadmill at home. Um, I'm really just kind of wanting to, I like working out in my garage, dancing, having fun. I don't do that during the week. That is kind of like, so I'm trying to, gonna, I think I'm gonna take this summer to really work on my workout. And so hopefully when the next school year starts, I have a routine down. Because on Friday and Saturday nights, I can get out in my garage and I can bah, 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 pop iron. But during the week, something has to give too, because I can't just wait till Saturday and Friday to do anything. I have to have some sort of in-week workout. So that means 30 minutes on treadmill, watching a b-ball game or something like that, that's fine. You know, I was doing good. I think it's just with everything with my son, my puppy son, just trying to deal with him and see if he's okay. I, it just, like your life gets put on hold, kind of, because you worry about him and you don't feel like you should be doing anything else but worrying about him. And yes, as much as I would love to spend 365 days, 24 seven worrying about him, I cannot let my health decline because I'm worrying about him. Like I'm not trying to put, I'm not trying to be ugly or push, you know, I am very worried. I am very concerned. I am very proactive in his life. I'm very trying to make sure he is comfortable, healthy, and getting better. But I can't do that if I'm in the hospital, sick, laid up, because my body is shut down or something. I need to also make sure I'm healthy. I notice when I get up, sometimes when I bend over, my body is just like, ugh. I feel like I'm like dead man, I'd say dead man walking, but dead man walking, it's just, you know, and I know it's because I'm not working out, I'm not moving my bones. I can tell when I'm sitting on the couch and my legs are up, I can feel the back of my legs literally have like, I don't know if it's just not blood circulation or it just feels like my legs feel like they're crampy in the back. And I've been to, I need to start by taking my potassium and things like that and I get it. It's just really to the point where I just need a change. I'm gonna work on that this summer. I'm gonna work on me. Yes, I'm gonna be cute because I'm, get, I'm getting my hair done. Not, well, I am getting my hair done this week, but not the full, that'll probably be the week after this week. Maybe the last week of school, I'll walk in and be like, hey guys, look at me, 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 yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go, I need to work on the budget real fast and just relax. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for Bang day, Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey. I love Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, Dave Ramsey. I love Dave Ramsey. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This is Hip to Be Square. See you on the flip side. Love you like family. Thank you guys for just chatting with me and just tuning in to sit with me while I ramble and get a lot off my mind. Um. I have a lot of soul searching to do.
Mm-hmm. I don't want to do it alone. Mm-hmm. Um, to whoever is watching this, whoever does watch these videos, thanks for coming along and just joining me on the ride. Because I am a hot mess. I am a struggling hot mess and Hopefully, I can get better at doing a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Before I turn into a whole crying mess, and that's not cute, because I don't, I ugly cry now. It, mm, I blame the gastric bypass, the body, the changes to this, mm, yeah. Um, yeah. But, we're going to work through it. Instagram, I will say though, has been an inspirational source for me right now. I do like going on and looking at people's cash envelope ideas and tips and tricks and just seeing what others are doing. And I know everybody's budget is different. Everybody's budget's gonna work for them. You know how it works for them, like I say all the time. Um, however it works for you, you may see something that I'm doing that you like, or you may see something I'm doing that you don't like. Either way, you make it work for you. This is what works for me right now. Maybe when I get more into this and I get more excited about this, then I will be better about this. Also, I will say though, we are gonna start in May the $20 challenge. I originally said I was gonna do twice. <laughs> I pulled out twice, like 40 each check because I get paid bi-weekly and so that would be two weeks not doing the challenge. But starting out because I am trying to reconstruct this budget and just there's things that I want to do right now that I'm kind of just like there's, things that I, there's other things I'm doing that I need to make sure I have fun for just just you know, I'll bring that you know later we'll talk about that it's a whole mess not a mess but it's a mess <laughs> and so I just want to you know start small I don't want to overwhelm myself trying to do this and then go oh I don't want to do it anymore ah. I really thought about funding the first couple months with that um, ROPD savings that I did, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a smart, <laughs> smart saver and a honest mama, <laughs> if I can say that, and <laughs> give the money where it's going to go to my son's um, expense account. But um, yeah, I'm going to go because I literally said I was going to go like two minutes ago and I'm literally still rambling on you guys. I will ramble. I, you know, I will sit here and ramble for a whole hour. I'm trying not to do hour-long videos of me rambling. That, oh my gosh, my. If you were here any time early, earlier videos, my very beginnings, I would ramble for hours, literally, and then post them like, "This is so good," and it's like, "No, this is so cringe." Now I'm getting better. I'm putting transitions in the beginning and song music throughout, and I'm trying to get there. These are never gonna be like glamorous youtuber videos but maybe it'll be a little more entertaining okay it's 33 minutes i gotta go i gotta go maybe this will be a little more entertaining than you know your average joe i don't know i gotta go because literally i've been sitting here for 33 minutes talking to you guys i'm really gonna just sit here until 34 minutes because i really don't want to end this on a weird number um but yeah so i'm gonna do that i will show you guys this tomorrow i really will i will literally show you what i did so stay tuned for that like show all for tomorrow. I'm gonna have something else to talk about tomorrow. Something just stuffing the cast. That's just a little bit. And I would have saved all this for tomorrow, but literally that would have been a two hour video. And I ain't about that life. We got things to do. We try to make money moves, not, you know, waste time. All right. Love you guys like family. See you on the flip side. Hit the square side and out.